interstitial pneumonitis uh, caused by seasonal influenza vaccine. And the 74-year-old man who received seasonal influenza vaccination clinic developed a fever, cough following the morning, the very following morning after the vaccine. He was referred to, his ho to, the, to our hospital on the fifth day after vaccination because of bilateral pulmonary infiltration shadows the chest x-ray, so pneumonia. Um, acute exacerbation of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis because of the influenza vaccine. Um, chest computed tomography uh, showed diffuse bilateral ground glass opacities. Again, this, these individuals would be considered coronavirus um, deaths or coronavirus cases and ventilator cases, severe cases, if they happen today because of a vaccine. Interstitial pneumonia associated with influenza. This is a case report of two different cases. So there you have two more cases of pneumonia because of vaccination. Seasonal influenza vaccine induced pneumonitis presenting with multiple or pulmonary nodules. This is actually a 39-year-old woman who received seasonal influenza vaccine November 15th, subsequently experienced malaise, low-grade fever, chest discomfort, chest x-rays performed two weeks after vaccination showed multiple nodules, uh, shadows in the lungs, and ground glass shadows in both lower fields. Again, a highlight finding of supposed coronavirus. So, not only that, not only will vaccines be missed, a vaccine injury be misdiagnosed as coronavirus these days, but also if you look into other viral infections that cause the exact same condition. So let's go with this. Rhinovirus associated with severe respiratory failure in immunocompetent patients. So this individual typically, um, they say that rhinovirus infections typically, which typically they don't cause severe illness. Coronavirus were said to very rarely cause severe illness, but as you'll see some of these numbers, you'll find that they actually made up a substantial number of the people every year in the past dying of pneumonia or contracting um, community-acquired pneumonia. So rhinovirus infections typically associated with common cold has rarely been reported as a cause of severe pneumonia in immunocompetent individuals or adults. 55-year-old uh, healthy woman who consumed a half a bottle of alcohol daily, um, she succumbed to bilateral diffuse ground glass opacity found on chest radiographs because of rhinovirus. So. Rhinovirus, which makes up 50% in the majority of cases of influenza-like illness, the common cold during the summer. So while we're in the summer right now, the majority of the cases are actually rhinovirus, but because they're using probable cases, and rhinovirus can cause in both immuno, immunocompetent, you wouldn't. If you're immunocompetent, you're not, you're not succumbing to pneumonia because of a virus. It's immunoincompetent that you would succumb to a virus. So because they had no prior evaluation of this woman's health, no testing on her immunocompetency, they can't call this woman that prior woman there. In this case, they couldn't say that she was immunocompetent. Again, the, that rhinovirus case would be called a probable case of COVID today.